welcome to another episode of It Came From The PTR. Uh, today we are looking at the random raid finder. Uh, it is up and is working on the current patch. Um, it's pretty simple-ish to use, it's just like the random dungeon finder. It's down there in between your dungeon finder and your dungeon journal. And so if we click on it, right now the graphic is kind of messed up. And uh, it looks like he has progressed like any other random dungeon. You start at the beginning of that raid. Um, so let's go ahead and queue. As you can see up there on the right, or maybe not, it has a little new icon. Um, it shows us how many are needed for what. Uh, two tanks are needed for the encounter, apparently. 16 DPS, sorry, 17 DPS. And then, of course, the rest are heals. So, alright, when it comes back and pops, we'll go ahead and take it from there. Alright, so it's uh, it's popped a couple times now, but uh, because people keep um, not accepting, it keeps removing me from... Looking for raid finders. It says someone in my party refused, therefore you've been removed from queue. Um, it's kind of getting a little frustrating, you know, and annoying. Um, so yeah, I am sitting here trying to get it to actually work, and I'm just making sure I don't miss anything uh, by seeing a bunch of periods. Um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of buggy at the moment. We'll see if it actually pops. In fact, I'm gonna adjust my sounds here so I can get it to work. Sound a little better for me myself. And hello, there is the pop as you can see, it's a siege. Now it shows we have tanks, and now we're just waiting on a couple more DPS. So uh, instead of having just the one individual icons for each person, they've uh, done that. This is the uh gonna look like it'll be at the Wormwest Temple, and we'll be finding the first boss from there. And yes, the PTR is buggy and slow, it takes forever to look. Done. You should hear it pop here in a sec. And there it goes. Alright, so I'm going to jump straight to this couple, maybe a trash pool or so, and then we'll get to the boss. Uh, comments on trash. Um, DPS and the crap out of them, and didn't seem to be too much problem. There are several elementals, there's a couple of good damage things that seem to drop around. But overall, we had some pretty good heals, we didn't lose anybody, so I personally wouldn't worry about the trash. Uh, they are, of course, elemental, since this first boss is the, the elemental that we're going to be fighting. Um, Deathwing is running around the entire time, overhead shooting random crap. Not at players, just at the stuff that's actually going on. And so, looks like we can do a little bit more trash here. As you can see, there usually comes in packs of three, either the... Uh, so. Like I said, it's literally just beat the crap out of him. Alright, I'm gonna jump back to the boss now. Alright, so this first boss has a couple abilities. Um, pretty much everything needs to stack stack. Um, I misunderstood when he said basically everybody needs to stack, so I thought all DPS were stacking in the back, so of course that's where I went the first time. Um, he doesn't have a cleave, so literally everybody needs to stack on the tanks. Um, as you can see, I was getting hit pretty hard where I was, not being with the tanks, I was getting hitting on average for 60k, 70k. Yeah, that'll chew through your health in no time. And, uh, yeah, stack on him, stack on him. We were stacking, or at least I thought I was stacking until I died. And so, yeah, this will be our first wipe of many. And, uh, we didn't even get to the first phase. <laughs> Or for phasing and getting through its for first full rotation. Um, so that's the next part of the video. So, hold on a sec here. Alright, so here's our second pull. Um, this time we all stacked. Basically, he does the most damage to the two closest people to him, which technically should be both your tanks, both of whom should be taunting at 50% of the crush armor that he gives, so you just don't get die. As you can see, the heals are doing a lot better, um, everything in nature. Now, those little strings you're seeing going off to the right there, that is a shard, and uh, in this case it's for the range, and basically three range has to go over there and stand by it. Um, for some reason, let me zoom out any far, even though I did the whole console script, they must have disabled some stuff on the PTR, so I couldn't do that. So, other than that, we are doing pretty good for the most part. Um, DPS the crap out of him, and going from there. Uh, 25 man version, 
he is, uh, I think he has like 70, 70 million health, something like that effect. Alright, so basically he pulls everybody together in the middle, does a little damage, and jumps up these spikes, uh, which you have all of us behind him. Otherwise you get hit with a very nasty AoE and you can die. Now, <laughs> looking at the Shadow Priest sitting here on the edge, it appears that you may not need to be completely LOS'd. Um, because this the Shadow Priest was still DPSing him, as you can see here. Alright, so it comes back. We all got a group back up. And uh, this is going to be the fun part for the Pugs, I think, because we didn't really group. And they were healing their own people, because now somebody in the tank was now DPS. And so, of course, every not stacking, he does this thing that really hurts the raid. So it's really going to come down to making sure that your group gets back together after you... Uh, get away from the LOS on stuff. Uh, it's basically is consecrated yeah, we'll call it at this point. As you can see, these people are starting to die right, right and left. Um, other than that, though, it's a pretty simple mechanic from the looks of it. Um, it should be a relatively easy to fight. And with all things PTR, people may just know their class, etc. Uh, most of these people are in pre-made gear. <laughs> yes, we're dying, dying, dying. Um, and there I died. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it's gonna come down to just knowing the fight, when to move, etc. I expect the rare random looking for dungeon finder, uh, or sorry, raid finder, not dungeon finder, to be like the dungeon finder in the ZACGs. And uh, basically, until people learn in the fights, it's gonna take forever. All right, so uh, that's all for now. Um, um, we basically. Yeah, we wiped about another 15, 20 times, so I'm not going to bore you with that. I never actually got down. We came about halfway, and it's about the best deal as a group. It's a pug group, so yeah. Uh, that's all for now, and um, we'll see you next time on It Came From The PTR.